so in the previous lab this is where we stopped so in this lab we'll uh, continue and we'll modify this block design to add few axis GPIOs so that we can control the uh, LCDs uh, P mod LCD that we designed so this is the uh, diagram of the P mod LCD so what and all we need to have in the P mod so in the P mod there are four data bits or the four LCD lines wherein we'll be sending the data and the command in the form of uh, first lower nibble then the upper nibble so we have the uh, four data lines or we can call four LCD lines and then we have one enable and register select here 9 and 10 1 2 3 4 for the uh, LCD lines and then 9 and 10 for uh, register select and enable now what we'll do is we'll add two axis two axis GPIOs that is because uh, it will be convenient for us to control the uh, data lines uh, that is the LCD lines and the register select and enable separately uh, like you would have seen in the previous video in Xilinx SDK how we use few uh, functions to control the or control the right data to to the axis GPIO so it will be convenient if we use two axis GPIOs one to one separately for sending uh, the nibbles of uh, upper nibble and lower nibble to the LCD lines data and command and then the other one to control the register select and enable separately so we'll add uh, ac the two axis GPIO so click on add IP search for axis GPIO so adding IP so one is done then again click on the this button axis GPIO so now we have two GPIOs yes now click on run connection automation so if we check all this so this one you just leave it as custom so also you leave it as custom or else we will just uncheck it why not then click on ok now it will run the connection automation So uh, yes, it's done. Now for a better view, click on the regenerate layout. Now we uh, we have axis GPIO two and axis GPIO three. Now double click on it. In the IP configuration, we'll click this as all outputs. So axis GPIO two will use it for LCD lines. So LCD lines, how many bits? So for uh, one, two, three, four bits. So the uh, GPIO width will be four. All outputs. Click on OK. So so once you click on it, you will see this. Then double click on GPIO three. So we'll use this for uh, register select and enable. So again all outputs but uh, GPIO width is just uh, 2 bits because we have uh, here only uh, one, ena one enable and reset just 2 bits so just 2 bit, uh, two bit width long all outputs ok so this is also done now if you click on it you will have this so we will make both of these external now so click on it make external and then again click on it make external we told that we'll be using these for uh, this one for LCD lines and this one for uh, register select and enable so click on this change the name change the name to LCD lines LCD lines 4 bit 4 bit uh, wide then this one will be LCD 
register select enable sorry lcd rsen register select and then enable done so now now that we have uh, made it external and renamed it we need to connect these uh, we need to uh, configure this in the master xdc file also so that it will be connected to the uh, pmods in the board so this will be this will be an easy task because in the master xdc we will have uh, pmod header ja jb and jc this pmod ja connectors directly you know uh, configured here so this is not going to be a difficult task so uh, lcd lines we know that uh, lcd lines connected to pmod of uh, pmod bits 1 2 3 4 so the first four bits lcd lines directly will connect them so just uncomment Uncomment these. Instead of JA, we'll write LCD lines. Just make sure it's the same with this name, LCD lines. LCD lines. We'll just copy this so that it's not wrong. LCD lines. Same way. Done. Next, the register select and the enable. So here we have two bits. Just copy this. Again in the XDC, uncomment uh, these two. This will be zeroth bit. Then this will be the first bit. So LCD register select uh, and enable 0th bit, 1st bit and then LCD line 0, 1, 2, 3, the 4 bits. So save it. Now we will see that uh, synthesis is out of date. Already it would have been out of date because you change the block design also. Save the block design also. Save in block design. Once this is done, <coughs> we can go for uh, generating a new bit stream after synthesizing and implementation. You will see that only the block design of this one uh, it's out of date others all synthesis complete so only the out of date synthesis and the out of date implementation uh, implementation will be running so it wouldn't take much time so we'll click on generate bitstream it last uh, synthesis out of date click on yes we'll reset okay So when we expand the design, we'll see that uh, the Axi GPIOs which we created, Axi GPIO2, GPIO3, all these are uh, running synthesis design. So only these will be running, the others are already completed. After this, the complete synthesis and the implementation will run. The bitstream generation has uh, been completed successfully. So now, uh, now this is done. So let's close this and then again uh, you know what we have to do we need to go to bitstream generation is completed go to export and then click on export hardware now uh, check the include bitstream option and then click on ok so since we have already exported hardware before uh, it will show uh, an exported file was already found at the location so overwrite it click on it once that is done go to file and then launch SDK, local to the project, OK. Wait for some time. Uh, you know, you just launched SDK if, uh, after, uh, uh, and you have not deleted the previous uh, project, the application project that we created, just deleted because uh, we'll be creating a new project for this LCD, ch for checking this LCD uh, block design that we just created. So this is done. So to file new application project name give LCD interface. LCD interface. So 
all this with fh next hello world finish i have the fpga powered up and then running here Yes, now the project has been created in course we have this <coughs> hello world so in source we have this hello world thing so just uh, replace it with program started then I have so I've written some code so I'll just explain uh, the code that I've written here so we have uh, LCD lines and uh, LCD RS EN, right? Register select and enable two outputs going here. Those things I have defined the LCD lines ex as an XG uh, as an objects of class XGPIO, LCD lines and then LCD uh, register select and enable. So th those things have the X parameters uh, GPIO, Axis GPIO two and three respectively, Axis GPIO two and Axis GPIO three. So, uh, and then uh, both of them have uh, have been configured as output. So data direction set data direction as output. Then I've written one to all the bits. So LCD lines we have four bits, and then for uh, our register select enable we have two bits. So if you if you write all bits one 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 will be F, and then one one will be three. So this program is complete. Go to silings and then program FPGA program. You will see that the uh, demo program will be stopped once it, that's completed. Put this aside. Now it's uploading the program into FPGA. You will see, uh, yeah. It has programmed the FPGA. Now we'll run the run this program. So the output should be like these four bits. Uh, these four bits here: one, two, three, four. These four bits because it should be uh, glowing, and then these two bits also should be on. So these four LEDs and these two LEDs should be turned on once we run this program because. We are writing one to all the bits. These four will be used as the uh, LCD lines for data lines and command, and then these two for register select and then enable. Click on run this program. Launch on hardware. Okay. So I forgot to include uh, some libraries. XGPIO dot H then include X parameter yes now we'll run the code again Launch on hardware, okay. You'll see. Yes, done. We have these four LEDs glowing, and then these two LEDs, these four LEDs for the LCD lines, and these two LEDs for the register select and enable. We'll try to modify this. We'll add. We'll try to change this as zero uh, x um, a, 
and then this one as one save it build finish now run it launch on hardware we'll see if it changes yes so now this is working perfectly so in the next lab we'll see how we uh, to write the lcd driver code for interfacing the uh, L p mod lcd with this uh, arctic 7 fpga in the, in the you're using the microblades design so that's it thanks for watching